they're kind of an emotional game for you, obviously, coming back one that you're intense with. Feel a little different? Um, it, mm, not necessarily, but, you know, it was always nice to make a homecoming. Uh, appearance, you know, it was nice playing in front of the home crowd. You don't see my family, families, I mean, friends and family. So, uh, with that being said, I feel like it was, uh, it was a good, good experience all in all. How did it feel to come home, Derek? First time you played back here in a while. First time ever you played back here. Right, right. Uh, it was fun. I'm not going to lie. It was fun. I got to play against one of my old uh, teammates from AAU, uh, Nas Bohannon. You know, made him go way, way back. So, like I said, playing in front of my friends and my family, you know, it, 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 was, it felt good because uh, I've seen a lot of faces I haven't seen in a long, long time out here supporting me, so it made me feel good. This game got pretty intense, kind of Big 12 level. Did you need that? Did this team need that? Um, I feel like anything that we uh, anything that we experience is something that, uh, that's only going to help us. Like I said, I feel like, um, you know, Things was getting chippy at uh, some points of time during the game, but I feel like that's all just goes into the game of basketball for real. So, um, you know, I feel like me and my team just keep playing hard and sticking together and, you know, listen to our coaches because our coaches are really uh, giving us the blueprint to uh, win games. You know, we just do knucklehead type things, you know, mess it up. But, you know, I feel like in the long run, we're going to be all right. Derek, what about playing with, with Oscar? I mean, you guys are two guys from this area. Um, playing with Oscar is really, is, is really fun, you know. Since uh, a lot of teams like to double team me and key in on me, they really they really can't do that with Oscar because you know Oscar he's still learning, but he's so strong. You feel me? So you can't really like you can't really dive down on Oscar and like really put all your your pressure on Oscar because you know he's gonna kick it out to me. So I feel like man, Oscar just finds like some type of like ground in the middle where we can just keep working on what we, what we have to do, as in like sharing the ball, passing, talking to our teammates. I feel like he he's gonna keep making strides uh, at a really high level. Talking with Taz and the progression of your passing game. Second half, you had the ball in one corner. You found him behind a screen, dead in the opposite corner. How do you see that, and does that speak to the progression of your passing game? Um, humbly speaking, um, yes, sir. I feel like um, I, I always, I'm trying to figure out how my, uh, how my sharpshooters like to play. Uh, I figured out that Taz, he likes to sit in the corner a little bit, like kind of like gets behind everybody and like hides off. So I knew he was over there, but I didn't really actually see him. But I, I counted the players out, and that there was only one person that was missing, so I knew he was over there. So I threw it hard as I can. I just see his head pop up, and, I, and he caught the ball, and he shot it, and it went in. So like I said, um, being, being blessed with shooters like that um, day in and day out, any big man would be happy and successful.